Hello my friends, it's Krebsy here, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up your plane to have its flaps alternate with the scroll wheel on your mouse. Seems kind of simple, but it's not that simple. <laughs> That's why I'm doing a video on how to do it. Uh, in, in one of my latest videos on how to outturn others, I was showing you guys how I like to use my landing flaps now when I'm getting into turn fights, and basically what I did to make it quicker rather than having the gears down, then using the flaps and then the gears back up, was I used a macro on the landing flaps hotkey, because there is a hotkey, it's with the brackets, you know, these sort of brackets, left blah 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 blah, like that. Uh, however, I, I assigned a macro to, to my gaming mouse, uh, because it has extra keys that allow me to to, to, to uh, basically type those brackets three times in a row so that if I wanted to, I could go straight from raise to landing flaps and then landing flaps back to raise. So for example, if I wanted to do uh, raise to landing, what I'd have to do is the following, like that. Just press the button on uh, my mouse like that and that would type it three times the brackets and that would take me down to landing and if I wanted to go back up to raised, I do my other hotkey on my mouse and it types three times the brackets so that it goes back up to the raised. And that worked for a lot of you. Uh, but say if you don't have a gaming mouse, uh, wh what do you do then? And, and this is where it's going to help a lot with you guys. And I actually got the suggestion from somebody else. Some, uh, one of you guys actually asked me, um, Krebs, can you do a tutorial on how to, how to, how to assign the scroll wheel to your flaps? And I, I was muddling around with it a little bit because it's actually not as simple as you'd think it would be. And, and lo and behold, Krebsy's figure it out. Now, I came up with three ways to do it. Uh, two of them include programs, and the one that works is includes a program. And the third one is editing the config file, so you don't actually need any, 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 uh, uh, what do you call it, programs. But it, I didn't manage to get it to work. Doesn't mean it's not going to work for you guys. I got it to semi-work, all right? It wasn't perfect, and that's why I didn't... I'm not showing you guys how to do it, but if you want to figure if you want to try it It's gonna be in the description box below you can read how to do those uh, and see for yourself because those might be the easiest options to actually uh, Do this proper scrolling with your flaps, okay? Uh, so you can give those a go before you try this working method that I got to work for myself. All right Okay, so I think we should give a little bit of explanations of why it doesn't work. Uh, for example, if we go on over to the controls, you'll see that you have flaps down and flaps up. Okay? Now, you'd think it'd be as simple as to scroll your mouse up, or your scroll wheel up, to make flaps go up, for example. So let's go to the sign button, and look. So the mouse wheel up plus something else. What? Why do I have to do something else? That's, that's bullshit. <laughs> uh, which, which makes it a little bit weird because it's it's like I don't I just want the mouse wheel up not anything else so that's why you need to work around um, and and that's what, what I'm gonna show you right now on, on how to do it so let's alt tab out of here and let's go to our Google Chrome or browser you need to go to this website to get this program it's highres.co.uk or you could just Google X mouse button control download the latest version over here and what you'll do is once you install it, you'll get something like this. Now I'm not going to tamper with this too much because uh, if you tamper with, if I if I tamper with it a bit too much, then it might screw up the settings or something like that. But I'll, I'll show you guys what I set it to. Uh, what you want to do is add a new profile. So you go to add, uh, add over here, and what you do is you make sure that War Thunder is open at the moment, so that you can select Aces.exe. So just like that, and you press OK. And make sure that it has a checkbox beside it so it's activated and you're clicked on the profile itself so it's highlighted like this on War Thunder. Um, and the reason why you're going to be doing this is so that these hotkeys that you assign to your scroll wheel will only work in War Thunder when you're playing the game. Okay, so that you can still alt tab and, and, and you know, surf the web and you won't be spamming. Uh, brackets as you try and scroll up and down the pages so make sure you have this profile here and then go to your first layer I mean there's other layers that you could use but you know first one's default so go for that layer one it's just all different profiles uh, and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of different buttons you can select here now you go up to mouse wheel mouse wheel up and you'll find a whole bunch of selections here you want to go to simulated key okay 
and you go into this and then you type the bracket to the right because this is mouse wheel up so I want to raise my flaps up so it's bracket right you want to check this box only send if profiles process is active and then you want to click in here and go to number eight sticky held down until button is pressed again I've tried all the other ones they didn't work for me but this one did uh, and so you want to set it to that Okay, I'm just going to cancel. Press OK when you're done. And do the same with wheel down, except you'll want to obviously use the bracket to the left. So, you know, bracket to the left so that you have your flaps uh, going down rather than being raised. Okay? And same thing with the settings over here. And you'll press OK. And then you'll press apply. Yeah, press apply. And then you'll go into your game. Uh, you might have to launch up your game again. Uh, in order to get it to work and what you get is I have to activate my thing because I deactivated it to make this video <laughs> Make sure that's active in your system tray over here and go back into the game and look see I'm scrolling my mouse up and it's doing this It's spamming those brackets and now if I go downwards It's spamming those brackets. So that's exactly what we wanted to do now before we actually get out into the game There's one last thing that you want to do as well Go to your controls, go to mouse wheel, because normally it's set to throttle axis, set it to none. Otherwise, when you're trying to change your flaps, you're going to be adjusting your throttle, which isn't what we want to do. Uh, not at the same time. So, for demonstration purposes, let's go out for a test flight here. Uh, and, and I'll show you guys just, just what I mean with, with these flaps being easily scrollable, okay? Uh, now, it's a third-party program. Some people would debate, you know, whether this is cheating or not, but, you know, I wouldn't say it's cheating because it's something you can edit in the config file, uh, and it's it's an easy function. It's just setting controls. It's not like it's, a, you know, assisting you in the game to help you aim, like an aimbot or ha hack the game or anything. It's just allowing you to do something that, you know, you should be able to do in the game anyway. All right, so... As you can see, I'll be able to uh, go through my flaps now. Yep, I can go up. See, I'm going up and it's down, up to raised. Now I'm going to take it down, say, one. See, it's down to combat. Now I'm going to take it down to takeoff. And now I'm going to take it down to landing. Yep. And now I'm going to take it all the way up to raised by scrolling my mouse wheel quite a bit. See? Nice and easy. Now all the way back down to a landing. Easy. Up to takeoff, up to raised, down to takeoff. It's it's very very easy, very intuitive, uh, and I think this will assist you uh, a lot when when you wanna uh, play during your games because you know your mouse wheel's right up right beside your fingers when you're shooting and, and it's, you know right clicking and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I hope this really helped you guys, and it's certainly what I'm gonna be using from now on rather than than the macro buttons. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So until the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you all later.